Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you all are doing well today. Today is Tuesday, it is May 16th. It is about 10.30 in the morning and I am starting another vlog. This is going to be a regular vlog, just like all my other ones. If you guys watched my last vlog, then you would know um, it wasn't a good one. It was all about jackals, mysterious illness, sickness, uh, things like that, which we are still dealing with. Uh, we're probably going to be dealing with this going into the month of June and probably the rest of the summer, depending on how things pan out. If you guys want to know more about all of that, please go watch that vlog. I literally talk about when it started to where we are right now. I did tell you guys in that vlog that I will be giving little periodic updates. So, so far today, I woke up at seven, had to give him his first round of morning meds, and then I had to run to the store and get a couple things. Like I had to get some more food for him that he will eat, and I had to get some bleach, coffee creamer, things like that. And right now I'm currently washing my washer. Um, that's what the bleach is for. So I've had this happen a few times since I've lived here, and I noticed it again last night, but I noticed my washer had like a really gross, musty, mildewy smell. I don't know what the heck it was from. Every time after I do a load of laundry, I always leave the lid of my washer open when I'm done to like let it air out to prevent that. But it was still really, really mildewy smelling and just really gross. So I'm doing a cleaning cycle on my washer right now with some bleach. Fingers crossed that works. I did order a washing machine cleaner off of Amazon that had like a lot of really good reviews. So worst comes to worst, I will try that. That's supposed to come today. I also got my dog something off of Amazon today that I'm really excited, which I'll probably show you guys. And yeah, right now I'm just chilling and I thought I would start another vlog. I don't really have a whole lot going on this week, just kind of the usual stuff. But this weekend, I'm actually going to this thing called EDM Night, which if you guys remember last summer, I went to Disco Night, which is like a dance party with disco music. Well, it's that exact same thing, except it's EDM and dance music, which I'm super excited about. So that's what I'm doing this weekend, which I think will be really nice because considering everything that I've been going through the last week with this guy, I think it'll be a nice night out, which I'm excited for. I'm a little anxious about it just because I don't want to be away from home for too long because he's sick, but dressed and worried all week because of Jackal and everything, but yeah, I'm really excited. I got the tickets like over a month ago and I can't believe it's already this weekend. So absolutely crazy. So we'll get ready for that. We'll go to that and just regular everyday life vloggy stuff. So yeah, today is my day off from work. I am home. I went to the store. I'm just getting stuff done around the house and I'm really freaking excited because about five minutes ago before, like right before I started this vlog, Jackal went and got a drink of water from his water bowl all by himself. All by himself. I was so elated. Like, I was like, good boy! Like, I was so excited because Jackal has never been a very good water drinker. Like, he never ever drinks enough water on his own. Um, that's why I, I have to add water to his food. But because he's been so sick, he has not been drinking, he has not been eating. So the fact that he is now getting up and going to get a drink of water on his own that's amazing. So I'm just, I'm in a really good mood right now. I just got all of Jackal's food. Now, if you guys watched his vlog, I told you that um, this is the only thing he is willing to eat right now. Which this is not his regular food. His regular food is, this is his regular food, his Hills prescription diet for his liver. That's what he's supposed to be eating, but he won't eat it. He will only eat this right now. So I had to get more of this because he has to eat, he has to have energy to fight off whatever he's fighting, so yeah. I just had to get this. This is not a permanent thing, it's just for right now until I can get him back on his regular food, so I just got that stuff put away. And then Thursday, I have to have a me day, I have to dye my hair, which I'm trying a new hair dye, which I also ordered. For almost 10 years now, I have been using the Revlon Color Silk in the number 12 blue black and I've been using that for almost 10 years now. It's literally one of my favorites. I've been using it for so long. I love it. 
but I noticed recently, like the last two times that I've used that hair color, I get really itchy on my head. Like it's been making my head itch. So I don't know if like my body chemistry is changing as I get older and it's just not compatible anymore. So I'm gonna try a different hair dye and see how that works. I got the, oh my God, what is it called? The Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf brand. I'm gonna try that. I've heard a lot of really good things about it and a lot of people said that is a really nice super black dye. My roots aren't too bad right now but I kind of want them to be fresh for the next month or so. Right now I need to get a washcloth and I need to wipe down his face. I don't know if you can see on camera but um, his face is pretty goopy from his medicine. Sometimes he spits a little bit of it out and it gets on his fur and his fur is just kind of goopy and gross so I need to take a washcloth to him and just kind of wipe him down, get all the medicine off. I'm gonna do that right now. Can I wash your face baby? Yeah, can I wash your face? Hello? Can you tell everybody that you've been doing good? Say I've been a good healthy girl. I've been a good girl. I've been trying to like even up the attention because a lot of my attention has been going to Jackal this week so I've been trying to give her attention as well, but I need to wash your brother's face, okay? Yeah, I need to wash his face, it's all goopy. Before we do that, I just wanna give a huge, huge thank you for the sponsor of today's video. And the sponsor of today's video and the sponsor of this vlog is of course the lovely and amazing Dossier Perfumes. If you guys do not know what Dossier Perfumes are, you need to because this is literally my entire life. Dossier is an online perfume company which is also available in Walmart, which is super exciting. I know you guys that are watching right now, I know you have a Walmart near you, so that's really exciting that Dossier is now in Walmart. That makes designer inspired fragrances at a more than fair price. Anything from Mugler to Tom Ford, Chanel, Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, you name it, they have a designer inspired scent that smells exactly like the real thing. The only difference is the price tag. Dossier is super affordable and when you make your purchase on Dossier, it comes in a little box just like this and when you open it up, Everything comes really nice and cute packaged in here. You get a little card that tells you all about the fragrance that you chose, and you also get a full 50 milliliter bottle of perfume, which is so much perfume, and these scents are so pigmented, they smell so good. This will last you a really, really long time. So the scent that I chose for the month of May, this one I have had before. I think this is my second time getting this. It is one of my favorites, and that is Gourmand Patchouli, and this is inspired by Theory Mugler, Angel perfume. It has notes of mandarin, berries, passion fruit, patchouli, honey, plum, caramel, vanilla, cocoa. It's so good. It has an 18% concentration. Oh my god. So good. If you guys know the famous alien perfume, which I also have Dossier's version of and I love, this is the same one but Angel. So they kind of go together. I absolutely love it. Mm. All it works is after you order your full 50 milliliter bottle of fragrance, you can try it out for a few days, see how you like it, see how it works with your body. If you decide that you like it, that is awesome. Go ahead and keep it and continue to use the full 50 milliliter bottle. Or if you decide, eh, I'm not really feeling this one, I think I wanna try something different, that is not a problem. All you gotta do is pack everything back up in this little box. Head on over to their website to the return section, print out a shipping label, and you can send everything back for a full refund, no questions asked. And they also also have a really cool payment option where if you select catch at the end of checkout you will receive a $10 sign on bonus and 10% off all future orders. So it's just a really great way to build up your perfume collection and to smell luxurious without spending money, luxury money. So I will have all of the links and information down below in the description box if you guys wanna go and check out Dossier and find your new favorite scent. I highly recommend it. I have been working with them for a very long time now and I absolutely love them. I love what they do. So thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the vlog. got some medicine all over your face, honey. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta wash it off. Yeah. There you go. Good job. All right, I think my washer is done with the cleaning cycle, so let's see when I open it up. Okay, nice and sparkly. <laughs> oh 
Well, it smells good. I don't smell any mildewy scents. Uh, it's been cleaned, so I'm gonna leave the lid open and let everything dry out and we'll see what happens once everything is dried out. I'm really nervous because, I mean, I rent, so I could just go to the office and be like, yo, my washer fucking stinks, but I don't know if they would give me a new one just because my washer stinks. So hopefully this works, because the washer works good, it just has this weird, like, mysterious smell going on. I don't fucking know. Right now, I am finishing up editing the Jackal vlog, which, I mean, by the time this vlog goes up, this vlog has already been up. Uh, but right now, as I'm filming this, I have to finish editing it and get it uploaded. So that's just what I'm working on right now. It's like 11 o'clock, so yeah, I'm gonna get this done and get it up. Are you begging for my pizza? <laughs> <laughs> You're a goofy dog, honey. You're goofy. Welcome back. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is May 17th right now. It's a little after 4 in the afternoon. It's like 4.07. And I'm getting ready to, yes I know, I'm getting ready to feed the doggos and then we're going to see if Jackal's going to eat today. So, let's, let's find out together. Here you go. Good job. Far so good. Let's see if he finishes it though. That's going to be the real... Good boy. That's gonna be the real test. Got home from work a little after three and they he kind of seemed a little bit restless and a little bit hungry, so I decided to make them dinner a little bit early just to see if he would eat. Got all of his meds refilled today for the next two weeks, so oh I really hope he finishes his food. That's gonna be such a good sign if he finishes all of his food in one sitting. Well, he ate a decent amount of it, so this isn't bad, but he didn't finish all of it. The most important thing is he did get some of his liver food and some water in there, so he's hydrated and his belly is full. He doesn't like to eat his liver food. He likes to pick around and eat the Caesar food, but yeah, I mean, that's good, and we'll see if he wants to finish it a little bit later, but at least he has some food in his tummy and some water, so... I really wanted him to finish it in one go, but that's okay for now, I guess. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. It is May 18th. It's like 7.40 in the morning, 
and I am up, the dogs are up, and it is now time for medicine for Jackal. Um, I know, good boy. So he's got to get his morning antibiotics and his morning steroids, so we're going to get his medicine ready. first one and the gross stuff and he's got to get two milliliters so he's got to get one syringe full and another syringe full okay now we're ready good boy I know, this is the gross one, I'm sorry. Good boy. Nope, nope, nope. You need one more, bud. All right, one more. One more. No, no, good boy. Some cheese. And there's a steroid. Here you go. Good boy. All done. All done. All right. That's the first part of my morning routine. Today is Thursday, so we did the AM. AM. Oh, he needs that one too. Fuck. Good boy. Got it. So then 3.30 and 11.30 tonight. That's tonight with this one, and that's tonight with dinner. This is desperately needed right now. The plan of action today is to clean house. I gotta clean both my bathrooms, I gotta clean out the fridge, I gotta clean the kitchen floors, I have to vacuum, I have to do laundry, I have to do dishes, I have to take trash out, and then I just have to do like bills and paperworky type stuff to finish off the day. And I gotta find time to touch up my roots. I did get my new hair dye yesterday. This is the hair dye that I am deciding to try. It's the Schwarzkopf. This is the 1.1 Midnight Black. It's not the blackest one they had, but this one is like their blue black, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I've used this brand before in the past, but I can't remember why I stopped using it. So I guess we're gonna find out, but I looked up basically a really good blue black hair color and this is the one that came up. So we're gonna try it. Like I said, my roots aren't like horrible but we're just gonna probably hopefully touch up my roots tonight that way I don't have to worry about it but before we do all of like the beauty type stuff we need to clean my house because it is a mess and since my boyfriend is gone until tomorrow I don't have to worry about a man getting in the way and making it messy again does anyone else do that if you live with a man if you know you know so every time like I'm here by myself that's when I really get to like deep cleaning and stuff because no one's gonna get in my way <laughs> Yeah, the dogs are taken care of for now. Probably just let them chill. And I'm just gonna pop in my headphones 
and just start cleaning. It's literally just now eight o'clock in the morning. So we are getting things done really early. Should I do like a little like clean with me? Would you guys want to watch that right now? Point out, let's do it.
Okay, so the downstairs is done. The kitchen is clean. Dishes are done. The living room is vacuumed and dusted. The only thing I have left to do is just basically take the trash out. Oh, and a little bit of an update. Jackal did end up finishing his food last night. About an hour and a half, two hours later, he went back and he finished the rest of his food. So that is good. He even played with the toy a little bit last night. So it's been going really good. Um, he's a little anxious right now. He doesn't like... He gets very up, like, he's a chihuahua, right? So he gets very upset when I'm not, like, cuddling him and holding him all the time. So when I'm moving around cleaning, he gets very, very anxious. So I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm going to hang out with him for a minute. Um, Avril's just been kind of following me around, doing whatever. But, yeah, I feel very successful and very productive today so far. Um, I even cleaned out my fridge and stuff, which is great because... My fridge needed to be cleaned out really bad. So I got rid of like old stuff. There was like some moldy cheese in there. <laughs> also, my eyebrow piercing is officially three weeks old today. Today is the three week mark and this long barbell is going to kill me. It is, it is so ridiculously long. It doesn't hurt anymore. Um, I really, really, really want to change it really bad. You guys have no idea, but it's not... Um, it's not quite at that point. You can still kind of see a little bit of healing going on on the bottom. The top looks great, but it's not quite ready to be changed yet, even though I really want to, but three weeks is just too early. So I might actually change this at like the four or five week mark because the bar is so freaking long, as you can see. Like that is ridiculous. So as I was cleaning my office, I totally forgot to tell you guys, I did end up getting the Cotton Candy Queen palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I ordered this at literally the worst time because soon after I ordered this off of the website, Jackal started having health issues. So I was like, great, like I could have used that money towards his vet bills. But anyway, I did get this palette and it's okay. I think the packaging is really, really cute. Let me take it out so I can show you guys. I just wanted to show it in a vlog because as you can see, I have literally every single palette that Jeffree Star has ever come out with. Like, I have all of the minis. Like, I have every single palette. Every single one. So, I really wanted to get this one. Not necessarily to, like, use it all the time, but just to have it for my collection. You know what I mean? Here's what the actual palette looks like. So here's the outside. It's really cute. We just have Jeffrey looking like something from Candyland on the outside here. And like, look at how cute this little like cloud is right here. Like that's, that's how you open it. So yeah, here's the palette. It's really thin. He has not done a super elaborate palette packaging in a really, really long time. Probably just due to the fact that like makeup's not that popular anymore and he just doesn't have the money to spend on elaborate packaging, but I thought this was a really cute touch, this like little cloud. And then when you open it up, and here's what the inside of the Cotton Candy Queen palette looks like. So it is, it is very like underwhelming. It's nothing like super revolutionary, but we have a lot of pretty shimmers in here. I honestly can't see one eye look that I could do in here. Like, <laughs> there's just so many of these colors that I wouldn't really ever reach for, but I'm a collector of all of his palettes, so that's literally the main reason why I got it. Should we do like the little mirror peel? I just wanted to show you guys this, let you know that yes, I did get it. Okay, so put these down. There we go. I have most of the eye and face stuff here, and then that's where I keep all of my lip stuff. So, we have a lot of Jeffree Star Cosmetics in this house. If you hate it, I don't know what to tell you about it. <laughs> oh, and then of course we have my Jeffree Star Cosmetics wall of mirrors here. I don't have that many, but I have enough to justify a wall. And then I have one over here, which is my newest one. This is from the Psychedelic Circus. Uh, this one I keep over here, so when I'm doing my makeup, I can easily, you know, see. Well, I forgot to show you guys, so I did order them some new collars off of Amazon, and they came yesterday. So here is Jackal's. It's like this really cute black 
studded collar. He looks like such a little badass. And I'm actually really happy with these because they don't feel super sharp. They're actually pretty blunt and it looks really good. So I got Jackal a size small. Um, I got his in black. Hers is a little harder to see because she has long hair, but here's Avril's. I got hers in pink and just the little pink studded one. So you guys look so cute. Do you like your collar? Is that a nice collar? Do you guys like them? Yeah, those are nice, huh? Nice and heavy duty and sturdy. You look so cool. Are you a cool girl? And honey, you look so handsome. You're such a handsome boy. Okay guys, it is now 4.30 in the afternoon. I am pretty much done cleaning everything. I didn't film all of it. Now it is time to do my hair. So as you can see, we got some some blonde roots poking through and we're going to use this new dye that I showed you guys earlier. I have no idea how to use this because the dye that I'm used to is pretty straightforward. So yeah, we're basically just going to be doing a root touch up. Um, I have not really been taking care of myself or my household since Jackal's been sick. I kind of just let everything go and you can't do that. Um, so I did, I took care of my house, I got my housework caught up and now I can take care of me. Yeah, my battery's gonna die. Great, great. Let's open this up and see what we have in here. So we have K-Bond Plex Conditioner. Okay. We have Color Cream. So this is the color right here. Uh, we have a applicator bottle with the developer lotion. We have the pre-color serum. Uh-oh, what is before coloring apply on the dry before coloring apply the pre-color serum on the dry ends of your hair. Sure, why not? And then we have the directions. So now I just gotta find English. Okay, so it says to put this for regrowth, it says to put it on your roots for 20 minutes and then 10 minutes and then after the 20 minutes, <laughs> put the rest of it on your hair for 10 minutes. Kind of refresh the color because mine needs to be refreshed really bad. I had to use Dawn dish soap on my hair a couple weeks ago because I had some really bad product build up on my hair for some reason. Um, I don't know what the heck caused it, but I've had to use Dawn dish soap on my hair for like three days to get it all out and so yeah my hair is very faded it is very dull looking so I'll probably just put some on my whole head let's do this pre color serum put this I don't really know if this is like absolutely necessary oh Ooh. smells good Smells really good. <laughs> I don't really know what, what the purpose of this is, but you know, whatever. We'll use it. Okay, that step is done. Okay, now I'm gonna take the color cream and put it in here. Just gonna squeeze it all in. Oh, thank God. I thought I just put the conditioner in here, like the after conditioner. Oh, that would have been bad. There it is. and you just shake. And yes, this is permanent color. I don't use semi-permanent. I don't use demi-permanent. This is permanent. So basically, if I ever wanted to go a lighter color or my natural color or blonde, I would basically have to shave my head because this is like 10 years worth of black box dye. There's no going back, but I'm totally okay with that. I've always wanted black hair. I love my black hair, so we're gonna keep it. That's a look. Here goes nothing. I don't think I mixed this all the way. Cause it's like white. I'm already exhausted. All right, so I am going to apply this 
all over my roots and I will meet you guys at the end once I have it all over for a refresh and we'll talk about what the experience was like but here we go just started this is probably gonna take me like 30 minutes so see you guys in 30 minutes all right guys so the color is officially all applied I don't have too much longer before I have to go rinse this out so when I first put it on, I was a little concerned because it was taking a really, really long time to develop on my head. Like it's just now starting to turn black because when I was putting it on, it was just like that light brown cream color. And I was like, is this going to start doing anything? Like it's, it's, it's like, it looked like I was putting like blonde or brown dye on my head, but it's finally starting to turn black. It is staining the ever-living shit out of my face, so I'm probably going to have quite a bit of staining. I think that's the reason why I stopped using this brand is because it stained my skin for like a week. I mean, hair dye does stain your skin, obviously, but it usually will wash off with your natural oils from your face and body in like a day or two. But I think, if I remember correctly, this brand stained my face really bad. Um... It's, it's okay. I'm not crazy about it, um, but it is, it is turning black, so that's, that's good. It doesn't really look like a blue-black color like I wanted, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this do its thing, and we'll rinse it out, and we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully, because I told you guys in the last clip that I was dealing with some buildup, some product buildup that I don't know what it was from, I'm hoping this doesn't give me product buildup and my hair doesn't get all gummy and waxy because I will be very upset if I freshly dye my hair black and I have to use Dawn dish soap again. So. so yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm just kind of like whatever with my hair at this point. Like <laughs> as long as it's black, I don't really care. Yeah, I will go rinse this out and I will show you guys what the finished result looks like. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully I'm impressed, but we'll see. All right, so here's the hair all done. I didn't fully dry it. I just kind of got like up here dry enough, but yeah, here's what the color looks like. I'll try to get in more natural light. So it doesn't, I mean, it just looks black, but it doesn't look like blue black. At least all my roots are covered. Now, as you can see, this, the one thing I did like about this color is it did rinse out really easily with the Revlon that I use, that I'm used to and that I usually use. I have to really spend a lot of time making sure that it's rinsed out, but this stuff actually rinsed out really easily. And I just used a little bit of that like after color conditioner stuff. I don't know. I have hair color dysphoria. I never think my hair is black enough. So, I mean, it probably looks really black, but to me, it's just like okay you know what I mean so yeah I don't know I don't know if I'll use it again or not but I just thought I would let you guys know what it what I think of it everything smells really nice like the after color conditioner that smelled really good so yeah there's the hair we're having a good night so far Jackal did eat all of his dinner in one sitting and he had a good good potty afterwards so yeah, so far we're having a good night. I love how I literally cleaned this bathroom today and now there's like remnants of my hair all over the place. There's a new Anna Nicole Smith documentary on Netflix that I really want to watch, so I think I'll watch that and that's just how I'll spend my night. I feel like I did a lot today and I just kind of want to just lay down and just not do anything. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for bed right now and I want to show you mine and Avril's bedtime routine because this is like the cutest thing ever so let's see if she'll do it on camera
All over. <laughs> He's up. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Like, I fucking die every time. It is so cute. We do it every night before bed now. I don't know why she started doing it, but she that's just what she likes to do before she goes to bed. She just did it on her own, and we just started adding that into our bedtime routine. It's so cute. I'm so glad I got that on camera. Welcome back. Uh, it is almost a week later. <laughs> it is May 26th. It is Friday, May 26th. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I am just editing this vlog that you guys are currently watching. Uh, I've spent the last like couple hours doing this and I realized that I haven't vlogged anything else and I haven't really given you guys um, any other updates since EDM night. So as you guys saw, it was a lot of fun. This was probably, and I know this isn't like a flex or anything, but this, the EDM night was probably the first night, first like dance event that I went to where I didn't get absolutely plastered. Um, I was actually sober for pretty much the whole thing, which is nice because I didn't have to deal with the hangover. So that's definitely a good thing. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think I liked disco night more than EDM night because while I'm still new to like the EDM world, I definitely had a lot more fun at disco night because I knew more of the songs, but it was still a really, really good time. I had a lot of fun, but we were there for a few hours and it was great. And Jackal has been doing really well. He's just chilling. You okay? Good boy. The last time I vlogged him eating, he's been eating his food really well. He is finishing all of his food. He is on less than a week left of meds, which I'm kind of freaking out about because I don't think he's going to have enough to last him until Thursday. And it is the holiday weekend. It's Memorial Day on Monday and we don't work. The clinic isn't open. So hopefully tomorrow morning I can go and get the remaining meds that he needs, but he's almost done with his meds. He's been doing really well. We are at the tail end of this, whatever this is. I paid off all of my vet bills and stuff, and in total, it was like $1,513 <laughs> with the ER bill and my vet bills together. So, I mean, thank God for credit cards, right? It is the holiday weekend, so I have a little bit of a longer weekend, which is nice. And I probably will end this vlog here just because it is almost 50 minutes, I'm pretty sure, while I'm editing this right now. So I'll probably 
just ended out here. I'm vlogging on my phone right now because my memory card on my camera is full. But I have, I feel like I've been uploading a lot of vlogs lately. And if you guys like the vlogs, if you guys like the more regular vlogs, please let me know and I'll continue to do more. I don't have any plans for the holiday weekend. Um, everyone I know is married and has kids and they're all doing family stuff and I'm just, I'll just be here. Uh, which is fine, I guess. That's <laughs> My eyebrow piercing is officially one month old tomorrow. So we're getting closer and closer to changing this bad boy because this is so ugly with how long it is. Like, it's just very unsightly. So hopefully, we will be changing this bad lad soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, as always, please give a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new here, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Turn on all your notifications, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys very soon in my next vlog slash video. I love you guys. I'm very tired. <laughs> Work was busy today. <laughs> Bye!